hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add custom variables in email template using the qf template engine and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add iteration operation in email template please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the web lands under the playlist you can see odoo development is here with different topic wise playlist available with real test cases and if you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure to follow that repository and we have also many different uh, social media pages to get the latest notification so make sure you subscribe pages to get the latest notification and if you want to support this channel using many ways like buy me coffee paypal or using this join button let's back to our main topic like how to create a custom variables using the qf template engine so for that uh, let me go to in the settings i will try to open the email template here and i will try to add here the custom variables right if you already know like we already created a custom new module which is wb email template under the data we created this record set right and the last discussion we we already discussed is like how the iteration operation is working so now we are trying to also create a custom variables so for that uh, if you don't know about QF template engine, right? So this is the best discussion for you. And if you already know, then you can just skip this video. So here, like I will try to use, let's say, in case, like so, here, uh, let's say you have to create any custom variables, right? So for that, you have to use the T tag. And under this T tag, you have to use uh, two more attributes, T dash set and another is the desk value and you have to close like this okay so t desk set we have to provide here the variable name let's say abc all right and t desk value we have to provide here the value let's say 100 so as of if you understood the python or any other languages we have to create something like this abc equal to 100 and if you will try to print from the python side right so it will print the 100 value right so abc is the variable name and 100 is the value of this abc so same like here we have to use t desk set this is compulsory and here we have to provide abc as a variable name in our t desk value we have to provide the variable value now the question is like how we can print also or this abc as a variable right in the email template so this is very easy you can use any of this tag name right t desk out and here you can simply use abc so in the abc it's not always necessary to add on the integer value right i'm just giving you here the simple example you can also store here record set or any kind of values uh, in a further session i will explain more all right so don't worry so this is the basic one and I will try to upgrade this module all right so here like I will try to use minus u and module name and I will try to upgrade this module if you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm like this way please check editor level playlist or I already explained and here I will try to click to this preview email template and now you can see the 100 is display right you can see here in abc 100 and it display 100 now let's say if you want to add or let's say you want to override variable right so this is very simple you can use here one more time abc and here like i will use the dash value equal to object so object means the current student record set right so i will again try to print here span t desk out and let's see what is inside this abc now again i will try to upgrade this module why because we change in the xml side and now i will try to click to this but 
preview and you can see here it display the record set of the student all right so now let's say if you want to access the record set fields or let's say you have to also call any methods that is also possible like let's say dot name let me add here the br We are dead, and I will try to upgrade this module. And you can just use dot name as normal uh, record set you are using, right? So same like this way you can use. So you can see the student name is Sunny Student CSV like this. All right. So like this way you can access directly and another thing is you can also add uh, you can also call custom methods span as out abc dot and here you can also add, call any methods so let me open the student profile It's better like we will try to create our own def return string from backend to email template. So I just write down a long method name to understand more return. Weblands, so it will automatically return this Weblands, and let me copy this method name, and I will try to pass it here. All right, and I will try to close this tab, and I'm trying to upgrade this module. Now let me click to this preview button. And now you can see the Weblands is display, right? So like this way you can create your own custom let's say variables in the email template using the QWeb template engine. If you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session. And our next session should be how you can add dynamic images from the database in email template.